Hi, I'm Chris Thompson from Investor Intel, and today we're with Deborah Wilson of Trust BIX, symbol TBIX, uh, on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, Deborah? I'm very well, Chris. Nice to be here with you. Uh, Trust BIX uh, is a company that I uh, haven't heard much about before, um, so I'm interested to learn a little bit more about it. What can you tell uh, the Investor Intel viewers about your company? So we are a technology company. Our roots are back a long ways in uh, auction market software, pork probes, uh, feedlot software. And we took an opportunity as a private company about six years ago to take over a platform that had been created by the Canadian Cattlemen's Association. And that's when we originally got involved with the McDonald's pilot project for sustainable beef. We provided chain of custody for that sustainable beef pilot project. And that was started in uh, 2015 and wrapped up in 2016. And so we've carried on from there. And so what is your software used for primarily? We have a couple of different divisions within the company, but the one that I work with the most that I think will appeal to most of your investors is the BIX platform itself, uh, BIX, BIX platform. Uh, so it's the business info exchange, and it's all based around validating claims of food or attributes of food products, food animals that will uh, give the consumers a good feeling about what's on their plate. Everybody wants to feel good about what they're eating. You want to know it's healthy, it's sustainable, it didn't harm the planet, uh, that the animals are treated well. I want a good story about my food. I don't just want to eat healthy. I want to be more educated about what I'm eating. And, and how are you tracking that information? What's the technology? So the technology right now is uh, a number of different sources. It depends on the food product. Yep. Um, all beef animals in Canada and uh, several other servid, uh, servid groups are required to uh, carry an RFID tag in their ear from the time they're born from their farm or ranch of origin uh, all the way through their life cycle where they may move two or three times in their life cycle right to the point that they're harvested. So it's illegal in Canada to um, transport an animal or try to sell an animal for slaughter without an RFID tag in its ear. So okay. that helps with uh, health outbreaks, uh, human health, animal health. Um, and I've always said as a producer with my producer background, why are we putting these tags in and not attaching more information to these yeah. tags? enabling us to tell a story and validate claims so that when you see the package on the shelf, you can see that it was tracked or validated by a neutral third party like ourselves. So what is the platform on your, uh, your, your business information exchange system or the BIC system? What is the, the technology that you use to track this information? So it's a cloud-based data management system that producers can uh, log into. They have to register. They have to give us permission to share their data. They understand. We keep, we're keep. we contracted right now to Cargill for yes. the beef up portion of what we do. And so uh, Cargill then um, uh, will send us all of their slaughter information and because we have the producers registered on our platform, we're actually tracking that animal through its life cycle. So we know what's been done to it, if it's received antibiotics, if it's gone, if the operation it came from has gone through a sustainability audit. Uh, there's a number of different uh, third party auditing bodies in Canada that are authorized to go onto farms, onto feedlots, into the packing plants, the full program for sustainability is third-party audited. We're mm -hmm. even audited to make sure we're delivering what we say we're delivering. So we're able to analyze the data on all of the animals harvested and able to return that data back to Cargill and tell them which animals are sustainable. And are you using the blockchain technology as, as part of this tracking? We are, we are. Uh, so we've got micro uh, microsites off of the main site. Um, we're using the data manager, the cloud-based data management platform 
for the basic platform. We're in the process right now of, in, with our technology roadmap of creating an agnostic BICS platform that will be blockchain that will enable us to uh, validate claims about not just beef animals, but we have interest from poultry, we have interest from pork. Uh, we're also in the middle of a project now with Protein Industries Canada, which is all around the pulse uh, uh, crops that we grow in Canada. Um, and that's about creating alternative meat products or just having lentils, peas on the shelf that are grown in Canada. And what, what can we say about it? You know, how was it, was that grown sustainably? Is that operation registering and tracking their crops that they're selling? And how do you make money from your system? How do we make money from our system? That's a yeah. good question. Well, first and foremost, everybody loves to eat. So <laughs> uh, we do it a number of ways, but the more, the more that you eat of the crops that we track, yeah. the more we make. Okay. Um, and, and the other thing is, is right now consumers are like 54% of consumers today. And that's a recent study that was done and it was just released. So it came out this summer. 54% of the consumers that we see today, uh, they're seeking claims based meat and chicken. So in a five year period, that's changed dramatically from 2015, where they were looking more about just natural and healthier foods. They didn't really yeah. define that in their mind. So now they've defined it in their mind and they're saying, is it really healthier? And what does natural mean? And what does organic mean? And how is, and again, I'll go back to animal welfare for the consumers today is huge. So again, the way we make money is by working with these packers, working with retailers, working with value chains. So we will have a small, smaller company, a smaller packer that may want to export to, we've worked with one company that's exporting Canadian beef to the EU. We've worked with another group that are exporting Canadian beef with certain attributes. Many of them are would be hormone free. So we have also a QR code and a blockchain that allows the consumer to click on the QR code and understand where was my animal born? Where was it harvested? When was it harvested? When was it exported? Is it hormone free? Uh, what breed was the animal? What did it grade? What's the life expectancy of the product on the shelf? And all of that comes up in a QR code. Now, now you just released some uh, financial results uh, with, with record revenue for the co company. Um, where are you looking to sell your services right now? You mentioned a, a quite a few Canadian clients. Um, do you have clients in other countries like the United States and, uh, and uh, other countries? Yeah, we've had quite a bit of interest coming out of the U.S. for high value crops. And again, um, very often the big companies know they need to do this. We've been very fortunate that Cargill has been forward thinking and has, has looked to hire an outside provider that helps provide some credibility. Um, I mean, I know I do. When somebody tells me about something that's going on in their company and I'm going, OK, so, yeah, so you're telling me about what's going on in your house but who's validating what's going on in your house? So yeah, we've had a significant amount of interest and discussion with companies across the line. We actually do have a fairly good footprint as it is across the line with our auction market software, with our feedlot software, and with our pork probes, um, the grade pork. So that that's, um, we've got- and When you, when you uh, say the across the line, do you, does that mean the US? The U.S., correct. Okay. We're also working in, in Mexico and doing some okay. work in China as well. Okay, well, that's great. It's a, it's a good overview and update on the company. Uh, thanks for your time today. I was speaking with Deborah Wilson, who is the Chief Revenue Officer for Trust Fix, uh, which is, uh, uh, the symbol is T-B-I-X on the Toronto Venture Exchange. Thanks for your time.